Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 12 wins, three losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 252 pounds. Tom! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, the Korean Zombie Chan Song Young! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it fair. fighter who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place all right here we go first round is underway no denying the big reach advantage for him tonight we'll see if he can get that jab going early look for him to circle on the outside use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms stuffs that takedown attempt without issue big ball punch lands now he gets back to range Oh, beautiful right hook counter. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. 
look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Chan Sung Jung. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Back to the jab now, no good. Big punch lands over the top. Other than follows. And just misses with that big right hand. There, no pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have now landed for the Korean zombie. Oh. Oh. Right in. And both guys really throwing with authority. The Korean zombie gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta show up the defense here, though. Look at him chopping the woods. Chopping the woods with those leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Take down landing now by the Korean zombie. Trying to hit the skate. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kabor is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. It's in there deep. There you go. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, trying to pass here. As Global Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. That's a big strike right there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Punch is blocked. his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time hitting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And now he's got that tie clinch. The Korean zombie gets the tie clinch here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Nice punch lands over the top. A little single collar tie there. Right hand punch to the clinch. Back and forth we go! He lands there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Just over three minutes to go now. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating the kimono. Oh. Turn on the elbow. He's going to change the submission finish. it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.